Hi, my name is Mira Carta, and this is my pause for purity on faith and trusting God's word. Two years ago, when I came to this church, I was on Prozac for eight years. And one Sunday morning, Pastor Bob spoke on God's joy, and if Jesus lives inside us, we do not need pills to have joy. I wanted that, so I tried to leave myself off them. That lasted two weeks, and I was right back on them. I asked my doctor for help to come off them. She said, no, you will never come off them. You're depressed and suicidal. You'll be on them the rest of your life. I left there even more depressed. Then I went home and prayed and asked Jesus for help to purify my heart from this depression. And I knew he was the only one who could. He started giving me scriptures like Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Luke 137. For with God, nothing is impossible. 2 Corinthians 12.9. My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. I read these scriptures every day and believe God can give me joy. So again, I started to lead myself off, this time with God's help. Only two weeks passed and my prescription ran out. I prayed and asked God, should I refill it or trust in him? That morning, everything, that morning I read James 2.18, but someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. And that's what faith is all about, taking that faith-filled risk that involves change. So that morning, everything I read in my Bible had to do with joy. I also was having breakfast with Krista, who's always reminded me of joy and has been a joy in my life. I felt like God was telling me that morning, joy is in me and all around me. So I decided not to refill my prescription and let God purify my heart instead. So June 25, 2010 was one year I am Prozac free. But it was not <laughs> But it was not easy. I had days where I did not want to get out of bed or talk to anyone. But I made myself get up, read my scriptures every day, so instead of getting up and taking those pills, I went to God instead. He is now my strength and joy. I go to Him in times of trouble. He has purified my heart from depression. So next time depression comes upon you or your life gets tough, remember God says, Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. This has been Paul's authority.